There you go, Tunip. Some warm kelp soup should help your Vegema Pox feel better. Looks like we need more soup. We can't keep up with them, Captain. Can't Peso give them some medicine for their Vegema Pox? Peso can't make the medicine until he finds the special ingredient. Peso, come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red Audi? Not yet, Captain. There isn't much of it in this part of the ocean. <gasps> Peso, over here! Red algae. This should be just enough for the Vegemol's medicine. Captain, we found some. Excellent work. Now hurry back to the octopod. The Vegemol's are getting a bit, um, restless. <laughs> <laughs> We're on our way. Oh! The algae! Excuse me, I... Hey! Clear off! This here's my home. I think I dropped something down there. Aye, and that's where it's there. No trespassing. Arr! Careful, Peso. That's a moray eel. And they can be very protective of their homes. Captain, we've got a bit of a problem here. The red algae has fallen into a moray eel's lair. Hmm. Hurry back to the octopod. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yeah! Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> Octonauts, a bottle of red algae has fallen into the home of a moray eel. We need that algae to make the Vegemol's medicine. Ah! Why don't you let me take care of that slippery old eel? I'll give him the old... I don't think that's a good idea, Quasi. Moray eels can be very dangerous, especially when they're defending their home. But maybe there's some way you can lure the eel out of his lair. And while he's chasing after me, Peso can slip inside and get the algae. Uh, but what if the eel comes back before I can find it? Hmm. I've got it. Sea snakes. They can be very poisonous, and even Moray eels know to stay away from them. So all we have to do is find a couple of poisonous sea snakes and ask them nicely to keep their fangs to themselves and help us. Precisely. Count me in. That may be a little difficult. Captain, I have a friend who may be able to help. He's not a poisonous sea snake, is he? Ahem. <laughs> not exactly. According to Professor Inkling, his friend lives somewhere around here. I don't see anyone. <gasps> Peso, don't move a muscle. <gasps> what is it, Quasi? There's a dangerous fish right in front of you. A banded soul. You're lucky I spotted it, matey. Banded souls are very poisonous. Professor Inkling's friend is a banded soul? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Inkling? <laughs> he is indeed my friend, but I... No bandit soul. <gasps> You're an octopus. Not just any octopus. A mimic octopus. Sir Mortimer, the mimic octopus, at your service. Any friends of Professor Inkling are friends of mine. But how did you... I, I mean, I, I knew it was a trick. Oh, it was no mere trick, my boy. We mimic octopuses cannot squirt ink to get away from predators, uh, so we must protect ourselves by pretending to be poisonous sea creatures. Wow. Not bad. <gasps> Not bad? My dear fellow, it is magnificent! Wait till you see my poisonous lion fish! <laughs> oh, it's all right. Mortimer, can you impersonate a sea snake? Prepare to be dazzled as this mimic octopus becomes not one, not two, but three poisonous sea snakes. 
Hiss! 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 Meh. Bravo, Mortimer. We need an actor of your talent for a special mission. Do you think you could help us? Lead on, my seafaring friend. My audience awaits. Show off. I heard that. There he is. All right, everyone. Here's the plan. Step one, Quasi, on my signal, you'll lure the eel out of his lair and lead him into this rocky reef. Aye, aye, Captain. Step two, Peso, you swim inside to look for the bottle. Righto. Step three, to keep the eel from coming back too soon, Mortimer will create a distraction here. It shall be among my greatest performances. <sighs> Optonaut and Mortimer, let's do this. Step one, Quasi, go. Yeah! Oh, stay away from my home. Arrgh! Come and get me, you toothy lump. Oh, I knew you are asking for it. Uh, 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 oh, peso, time for step two. I'm entering the lair, Captain. The algae has to be around here somewhere. Aha! <laughs> You'll have to be faster than that, matey! <laughs> ah! Lionfish! Yow! <laughs> Admit it, my lionfish impersonation had you fooled. Well, I suppose, but only for a second. <laughs> uh, I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Was it? In here. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! And you're staying there if you know it's good for you. He's heading back to his home. Quasi, are you okay in there? Yes, Captain. Carry on with the plan. Come in, Peso. Any luck finding the red algae? Not yet, Captain. It's a bit of a tight squeeze in here. We'll buy you some more time. On to step three. Here he comes. Ready, Mortimer? Ready for the performance of a lifetime, dear boy. Sea snakes! Yes, we are one, two, three sea snakes. Be gone, or we'll bite you inside out. Hiss, hiss, hiss! Uh, don't overdo it. Ah, yeah, I, I think I'll take another way home. Excellent, Mortimer. Another five star performance. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Peso, any luck? Captain, I think I see the bottle. But it's stuck. Oh, no. The eel's taking a shortcut. Peso, the eel is coming back. Fast. You've got to get out of there. Now. Almost got it. Yes. Time to skedaddle. Ah, let's pass up. What are you doing in my home? Peso, grab on. Yeah. Nice work in there, Peso. Was he? Mission accomplished. We're on our way to pick you up. Yeah. <sighs> Thanks, Captain. Huh? As for you, Sir Mortimer, don't think you can fool me this time. I wouldn't do that if I were you, dear boy. Sea snake bites are poisonous. I know that, but these aren't sea snakes. They're sea snakes! Yow! Hop on! We've got to get this medicine back to the vegetables. There you go. You'll be better in no time. The captain tells me your performance was quite brilliant. It was. We couldn't have done it without your help, Mortimer. A mimic octopus is always happy to put on a show. And I have a new impression now to add to my repertoire. You do? <laughs> sea snakes, yo! <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Look at this video coming in from Dashy. 
She's in a kelp forest, and as you can see, there's quite a bit of... Kelp! Makes me hungry for a big bowl of me grandfather's pirate stew! Huh? Kelp is the main ingredient. Oh! Whoa. Is everything all right out there? The currents here are getting stronger, Captain, so the water's getting rougher. Then you and Dashy should head back to the octopod. Yes, Captain. I'll just investigate one more piece of kelp and look for baby snails before we go. And I'll just take one more video. All right, boys. Someone's heading in our direction. You know what to do. Right, Dad. Ready, steady, blend. That's great. Kelp leaves have such beautiful shapes. Well done, boys. You blended in perfectly. Oh, it was nothing, really. Just doing what you taught us to do. A leafy sea dragon never swims away from danger. No, certainly not. In fact, we can't swim at all. So what do we leafy sea dragons do better than anyone else? Blend in. And that's how we stay safe. Oh. The water's getting a bit rough, Dad. Ah, but the rougher the water, the calmer the leafy sea dragon. These currents are so strong, they're breaking off pieces of kelp. The gut is getting covered with it. We'd better hurry. Steady, boys. Remember, a leafy sea dragon never gives up. Dad, no! Dad! Dad! Remember, when the going gets tough, the leafy sea dragon just uh, goes with it. Uh... Dad! Just keep calm and blend in! <gasps> well done, you're blending in perfectly, boys. But, Dad, what about you? Don't worry about me, I'll be just fine! Back to the octopod. Remember, keep calm uh, and blend in. <laughs> Looks like you dragged home the whole kelp forest. I need a picture of this before we clean it up. Tweak, say seaweed. Seaweed? <laughs> Where are we? I don't know. Clean up time. Can anyone put this kelp to good use? Well, Cap, I could use some of it to make kelp grease. Nothing cleans an engine faster. <gasps> Lean to the side. I'll take some to study in the lab. The other side! I'll put some of it in the sick bay tank so my patients will feel more at home. And I've got the best use of all for this mess of kelp mateys. Pirate stew! We've been captured by a pirate. Ahoy, mateys! I'm about to cook up some pirate stew! <laughs> now, watch and learn how to cook like a pirate! <laughs> Duck! Chop! <laughs> Pound! <laughs> Mix! Quite a bit of kelp back with us, Professor. Ah. Hmm. I think you may have brought something other than kelp back as well. Dashy, can you zoom in? Zooming in, Professor. <gasps> Leafy sea dragons. I completely missed them. Leafy sea dragons are easy to miss. They're small and they're experts at camouflage. If they were stuck to the gap, then they must be in the octopod. But where? We'll search for them right away. And since these little leafy sea dragons look exactly like kelp... We'll need these octagoggles set to camouflage mode. We'll be able to see any living creature, even if it blends in perfectly with its surroundings. Shellington, you check the lab. Dashy, you take the sick bay. Tweak and I will search the launch bay. Octonauts, 
Let's do this. Did you see them? Nothing but plain old kelp in here. Hmm. No sign of them here. The leafy sea dragons aren't here either. Let's see. Who else took some of that kelp? <gasps> Quasi! Quasi! Stop that stew! Quasi! Octonauts to the kitchen! Jump! Kelp coming up, mateys! Oh, nowhere to hide! What's pirate for don't eat me? Stop that stew! <laughs> what did you say, Captain? Stop that stew! Those are leafy sea dragons, not kelp! What? Where? In your paw! Shiver me whiskers! Do your worst, pirate! But, but don't hurt us! I'm not going to hurt you, mateys. I thought you were kelp. But you're a pirate. I'm also an octonaut. And octonauts help little critters like you. I think you'd just like to go back home. Yes, but we need to find our dad first. A strong current of water carried him away. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to help these leafy sea dragons find their dad. Now, where did you last see him? Where we live, at the edge of the kelp forest. We were caught in a current of water going towards your ship. And Dad was caught in a current of water going in a different direction. This is the current that the gut E followed back to the octopod. So their dad must be trapped in this one, and it's taking him out to the open sea. A leafy sea dragon can't survive out there. There's no place to hide. Captain, we've got to go after him, and fast. Quasi, Peso, leafy sea dragons, into the guppe. A leafy sea dragon can be tough to spot, so remember, set your octo goggles to camouflage mode. I hope we're not too late to find Dad. Kelp? Kelp? More kelp? Ah, there's no sign of him anywhere. Wait, that piece of kelp looks like... Dad! Oh no, he's getting away from us! Don't worry, we'll swim out and... Was he? Oh, get him, Captain! with my boys. Oh, we've all had quite an adventure. Now you can all get a little rest. <laughs> and some food. We're hungry, Dad. All right, boys. Let's show these octonauts how we sea dragons eat. You see, we carefully sip sea water and find tiny bits of food in it. One, two, three, sip! Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Better than pirates do. <laughs> yeah, sure is. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> Say, ah. Uh... Looks good. 
Great. Now, can you tell me how many flippers I'm holding up? <coughs> Two. That's right. You're a completely healthy fish. Next. Oh, no. Let me take a look at that. Don't worry. My name's Peso. I'm an octonaut and a medic. I help creatures who are hurt or sick. If you let me bandage that claw, it will feel better. Ah, good as new. These Arctic waters are cold. I'd better head back to the octopod and warm up. Whoops! My medical bag. Oh no, I've got to find it. Aha! Just a clam. I know it's down here somewhere. <gasps> a walrus. He's using his whiskers to find clams. <laughs> Maybe he can help me find my medical bag. Oh, thank you. I've been... <laughs> Hey, uh -huh. <laughs> what a weird clam. Hey, the chief might like that. Wait, come back. That's not a clam. It's my medical bag. Captain. Go ahead, Peso. Captain, my medical bag has been taken <gasps> by a walrus. Wazi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, can anyone think of why a walrus would take Peso's medical bag? He must have thought it was a clam. Yes, they do love to eat clams, Captain. It had all my bandages and medicine. Without my medical bag, I can't help creatures feel better. Don't worry, Peso. We're going to find that walrus. We'll march right up to that whiskery lump and make him give back your medical bag. Yow! Peso, Quasi, to the Gup A. Open the octahatch, Tweak. Right away, Cap. Ahoy! One whiskery walrus right ahead. We must be getting close to a walrus colony where they live. Whoa! That's a lot of walruses. If your bag's in there, we'll find it. <clears throat> um, hello there. I believe there's been a misunderstanding. You see... Hey, you guys aren't walruses. You got that right. We're octonauts. This is our colony. Walruses only. Um, easy now. We just want to... All right, back off. Move on. Oh, Move well, on. Well, well, uh, now, wait, 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 wait. Enjoy the dip. So much for marching right up to them. <laughs> got me when I wasn't ready. Avast, you scurvy walruses. Hmm. There's got to be another way for us to get into the walrus colony. And then, splash, we all fell into the water. Hmm. Walruses don't like to share their home with other creatures. Sounds like if you're not a walrus, you're not getting in. But if we looked like a walrus and acted like a walrus... Maybe we could sneak in and find my medical bag. Tweak, we're going to need your help. Sure thing, Cap. Octonauts, Operation Octo Walrus begins now. Let's go. Tweak's costume will fool them. If it'll get my medical bag back, it's worth a try. Fair enough. Come in, Shellington. This is Barnacles. We're sneaking into the walrus colony now. Excellent. Now it's very important that you act like a walrus. Don't let them push you around. Huh. Must be a new guy. Walruses say hello by blowing in each other's faces. Blow back or they'll think you're being rude. Oh, um... 
That's all you've got. <laughs> um, we need to blow harder. Everybody. One, two, three. <gasps> Now that's more like it. Nice to meet you. If you've got any extra clams, give them to the chief. He's hungry. We've all got to share our food until he feels better and can find his own. Right. Thanks for the tip. It's working. We've made it inside the colony. One of Peso's stickers. We must be getting close. Keep your eyes peeled. You're stepping on me tail. Sorry. But it's hard when they keep smooshing up against us. Ah, typical walrus behaviour. They love to get cosy and cuddle with one another. Cosy isn't quite the word for it. Phew, that's better. Don't get too relaxed. Aye, oh, hey, what's this? A new guy? That's the one who took my medical bag. <sighs> Come in, Shellington. We've got an angry walrus <laughs> heading right for us. Jumping jellyfish. It's a walrus challenge. Ugh. He wants to see who's bigger and tougher. If we want him to tell us where the bag is, we'll have to challenge him back. We could be bigger and tougher than he is. Hop on me shoulders, Captain. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> bigger. <laughs> Are you okay, Peso? Um, I'm okay. Okay, okay. You're bigger than I thought. Where is the medical bag? M medical bag? It's white and uh, it opens up and inside... Oh, you mean uh, the funny white clam that I found? I gave it to the chief to try and cheer him up. Which one is the chief? The chief is probably the biggest walrus with the biggest tusks. Aha! Bring him on! Careful. Quasi, try to get back into position. Huh? I can't get back in position while you're sitting Ooh. on my... Uh, hey, 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 hey. Intruders! Oh, run! Captain, come in. What's going on? Have you located the chief yet? Shellington, this really isn't a good time. <laughs> Take them to the chief. At least we get to meet the chief. What are you doing in our colony? Speak. Uh, please, we didn't mean to bother you. We're just looking for Peso's bag. You mean that strange white clam? That's it. My medical bag. Your medical bag. I'm the Chief Walrus. It's mine. We don't want any trouble, Chief, but that bag belongs to my friend Peso. You think you can just waddle into my colony and tell me what to do? <clears throat> oh no, his flipper. Stop! You shouldn't be walking around on a hurt flipper. If it's not bandaged right now, it will only get worse and worse until... <laughs> oh, my flipper really does hurt. Can you tell me what happened? Well, I twisted it the other day, and now I can't even swim. That's why everybody's been bringing you clams to eat. Do you think you can do anything for me? Hmm, one twisted flipper. I'll need my medical bag. Uh, all right. Here. There. Good as new. Hey. Thank you. It feels better already. I don't know what I would have done without you. And I don't know what I would have done without my medical bag. Now remember, you take it easy on that flipper. I will. And you come back to visit whenever you like. I hereby declare you all honorary walruses. Will you join us in the official walrus cheer? <laughs> this 
These night missions are tough, Captain. We've been working so late, it's just about morning. At least all's well in the ocean. <sighs> It'll be great to get back to the Octopod and get some sleep. Aye. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it, my belly's feeling a bit empty too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <laughs> There's a monkey. Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice seagrass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Ah! Yes, please. I'm so glad Tunip packed all this food for us. Me too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, me favourite. Yeah, licorice flavoured. Me least favourite. I can never get these thingies to work. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Strawberry jam flavoured kelp. Now that's more like it. I'll be having some of that too, please, Peso. <gasps> Look over there. Seahorses. What in the seven seas? Look at those two. They're dancing like some crazy underwater merry-go-round. I've never seen anything like it. Let's investigate. <clears throat> um, excuse me, seahorses. We couldn't help but notice your amazing dance. Oh, thanks, man. It's a seahorse thing. We do a special dance of love. And change colors to show how much we like each other. Yeah. I'm Sonny, and this is Janice. We're the Octonauts. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Good to meet you, Sonny and Janice. Isn't she wonderful? One look, and I knew she was the one for me. Oh, Sonny, you're so sweet. They certainly look happy together. Captain, they, um, seem kind of busy with their dance and everything. Hmm. Let's, uh, head back to the Octopod. Bye, Janice and Sonny. So long, man. Be happy. How much further, Captain? Not too far. The water is getting a bit rough, though. To put to Gap A, come in, please. We read you, Dashy. Is everything okay? There's a big storm heading this way, Captain. Suggest you return to the Octopod as soon as possible. Thanks, Dashy. We're on our way back right now. Barnacle's out. A vast. Look at the fishies, mates. They're all heading for cover. Whenever a storm approaches, fish know to head for deeper water. It's much safer down below. We'll do the same. Sweet Octopod. This storm could last a while. It's a big one, Captain. Mm. Huh? Uh, whoa. Look, it's Janice. She's in trouble. Hey, so sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Guppy's all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the Guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the Octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. Lappity flippers, you're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye, there'd be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be! 
holding on by her tail. Whoa. I'll get as close to her as I can. And then Quasi, you... Quasi? Yeah! I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he... What did you say? Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But daddies don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, I mean don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast, because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir. Leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. Do you see him? Ah, not yet. We'll check the rocks next. Don't worry, we won't give up. We still need to search that kelp forest up ahead. We don't want to get the guppe stuck in this kelp, so we'll get out and search for Sonny. Sonny! Are you here, matey? Sonny! Sonny! Hmm, at least the storm is finally calming down. But where's Sonny? I guess we'll never find him. Look! A seahorse! Excuse me, are you Janice? Who, me? No, I'm Quasi, and, and I'm not a seahorse, I'm a... I'm Janice. Janice! Thank goodness you found us. Sunny is about to give birth. You're just in time. Oh, where is he? Please take us to him now. I'm a medic. I can help. Over there, near that seaweed. Sunny. Congratulations, Janice. It's a boy. And a girl. Oh, my. And another girl. And a boy. And a boy. And another girl. And a boy. And another girl. Hey, Janice. Sunny, I'm so glad I found you. Janice, you're safe. Meet the children. Our children are so beautiful. How can we ever, ever thank you? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> All in the line of duty. Ah, yeah. oh, they're so adorable. What are their names again? Well, that little guy is Barney, short for Barnacles. And that really handsome dipper is Quasi. And that one's Peso. And that there's his sister, Quasetta. Oh, she's a firecracker. All right, Cap. Your Octo Compass is ready to go. Oh, thanks for fixing it, Tweak. I don't feel like a captain without it. 
You better give it a quick check. I'll show you how it works, Vegemals. If I need to talk to someone, I just touch the screen. Look. Hello? And if I'm away from the octopod and I need to sound the octo alert, I can use this to do that too. Uh, don't worry, that was just a test. I can even take a picture with it. Looks like it's working perfectly, Tweak. All right, Jeff. See you later. Would you like to hold it, Tunip? Be very careful with it and give it back to me as soon as you've each had a turn. Octonauts? Huh? Octonauts, who sounded the octo alert? Um, Shellington, do you know what he's saying? Yes, Captain. He says that your octo compass flew out of the octo hatch and they don't know where it is. I think. And they're really sorry. Don't worry, Vegemals, we'll find it. Dashi, activate the Octo Compass Finder. I'm on it, Captain. There it is. <laughs> it's floating into the cove. Look. It stopped moving. All we have to do now is go into the cove here and get it. Easy. Super, super. Or maybe not so easy, Captain. This cove is known to pirates everywhere as Creepy Cove. Creepy Cove? What's so creepy about it? It's the home of a creepy monster with creepy powers. And what might those powers be, Quasi? The monster of Creepy Cove can change colours like magic. It can make itself grow as big as three whales. And finally, it can make perfect copies of itself <laughs> until you're surrounded by monsters. I've always wanted to explore Creepy Cove and see that monster in action for myself, matey. <laughs> I'm not sure there's really a monster living in this cove. Creepy Cove, Captain. But we do need to get my octo compass back. So, Quasi, Peso, into the gup. We're heading for... Creepy Cove? Um, yes. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. According to the map, the octo compass should be somewhere near the entrance to the cove. So we won't have to go very far inside Creepy Cove to find it. Unless the monster of Creepy Cove finds it before we do and takes it for himself. Here we go. The entrance to the cove. The octo compass is small, so we'll have to look very carefully. Peso, you take that side of the rocks, and I'll take the other side. And Quasi... Quasi? <sighs> Come on, Peso. Activate helmets. No monster yet, Captain. But you never know. He could appear at any moment. Don't worry, Peso. We'll find the Octo Compass in no time. Let's search these rocks first. Huh? <gasps> what was that? Look, the Octo Compass is moving. Dashy to Captain Barnacles. Barnacles here. Go ahead, Dashy. Um, Captain, have you found the Octo Compass? 
Uh, no, not yet. Well, somehow it's on the move again. Deeper inside the cove. Tell me which way to go and we'll catch up with it. OK, Captain. Go left. Go through the rock archway and to your right. Captain, what are we chasing? The Octocompass. It's moving again. The monster of Creepy Cove must have grabbed it. All right, Dashie. Now which way do we go? The Octocompass has stopped moving, Captain. It has to be somewhere very close by. Understood, Dashie. Barnacle's out. Yeah, that scurvy monster is hiding in this kelp with your octo compass. Well, I don't know if a monster took it, but one thing's for sure. My octo compass is somewhere in this kelp, and we've got to find it. I'll search this way. I'll search that way. And I'll take the middle. <gasps> that rock, was it there before? Rocks can't move all by themselves. That's silly. Hey! Hey! Okay, now that rock looks just like an ordinary rock, and ordinary rocks don't sneak around. And so, to prove to myself that there's nothing to be afraid of, I'll just sit right down on this ordinary old rock and. Ah! Flappity flippers! What is it, me hearty? Stop that rock! Huh? <gasps> oh, that's no rock! It's the monster of Creepy Cove! And it has the captain's octo compass! <gasps> Quasi? Peso? What happened? We saw the monster. First, it looked like a rock. And then it made itself huge. And then it turned green and disappeared. Aye, and it's got your octo compass. Dashie to Captain Barnacles. The octo compass is moving into a small cave on the other side of the kelp. Thanks, Dashie. Octonauts, let's get to that cave. Ready. Yow! Ah, I reckon the monster wants to trap us inside this cave, Captain. Hmm. Well, I don't see any monsters, but I do see my octo compass. The m, m monster! Shiver me whiskers! Another monster! That's <laughs> What? The real one! Gotcha! Don't worry, we won't hurt you. So you're the monster of Creepy Cove? No, I'm not a monster, I'm just a cuttlefish. A cuttlefish? Then how do you explain the fact that you changed your size and your shape and your colour? Mm, that's what we cuttlefish do, to protect ourselves so other animals can't hurt us. I can make myself disappear. Mm. Whoa! See, I look just like a rock. Or I can make myself look bigger! Amazing! Or I can shoot out ink and make it look like you're seeing another cuttlefish while I swim away! That's incredible! Hi, matey! We didn't mean to frighten you, Mr. Cuttlefish. We've only been chasing you because you have something that belongs to me. You mean this? Yes! That's my octo compass. Here, please take it. I was just playing with it. I like how it changes its look. Just like me. <laughs> You're right. And it also turns into a camera. May I take your picture? Well, okay. How about a group shot? Yeah, all right. <laughs> Say cheese. As you can see, the monster of Creepy Cove was just a cuttlefish. <laughs> Tunip, don't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
about there's something out there something big really big I saw it it's huge it's white and it made a noise like Whoa. Captain look at this I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there that's it that's what I saw what on earth could it be it's as big as a whale but whales are usually dark grayish Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. Scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast, strange heat patterns are coming from that pink colored reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. And then we better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> this is no reef. Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. What? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. 
I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Uh, Peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. Oh, I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino. It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh. Looks like we've got company. A school of squid. We'll go around them. At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them. What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two, three! Hey! Uh, nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more. And finished. Ha! <laughs> a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect! I'm Captain Barnacles. I'm Mating. Come on. Everyone join in. 
Alright, let's go!